as used in these instructions means. Now, physical injury means. It's not instruction. You, you, you need to find something else. Singular phrase. Yeah, you, you, you know, you need to find something else, Mr. Price. Right. All right. All right. Um, um, Ma'am, what is your name? Lucy Deaton. Lucy Deaton. Now, Deaton, yes. D-E-A-T-O-N? That is correct. All right, and uh, me raise your right hand. Do you swear or affirm to testify truthfully in the course of this hearing? I do. All right. So, uh, Ms. Deaton, you are the mother of uh, Mr. Masters here? Correct. Did you have some uh, discussions or encounters or any conversation with any members of our jury? I have not. Um, so your testimony is that you never spoke a word to any juror, not a word, nothing. I tried to speak to one and ask if they were the jurors if I could come back in. And by that time, the officer came over and said that I am not. Okay. So to make sure that I understand this, um, all right. So you saw what you believe to be a group of jurors. I guess they still have badges on. Did they, were they identified by having the badges, or how did you believe they were jurors? Because I was sitting outside of the, um, the door, and there was people who came out, and I was said, sent out to because they were going to put me on the stand. So when they came out, I assumed that I could come back in. All right. So I assumed it was okay to ask if I could come back in. All right. Now, um, when you say that you asked, that's what you asked a juror, did you ask a group of jurors or a single juror? An individual. Oh. I said, my question to the individual was, excuse me, are you one of the jurors? Do you know if I am allowed to come back into the courtroom? Okay. And uh, did you get an answer? I did not. By that time, the officer stepped in and said, you can't do that. You are not allowed to speak to the jurors. All right. And that was the sum total. That's everything, every word that you stated to the jury. Yes. All right. And the juror made no statement to you. Did not have time. Because uh, Officer Weathers or Deputy Weathers stepped in. Correct. All right. All right, Mr. Price. Judge, I don't, I mean, I would like to. I mean, if it's appropriate for us to confirm that with the juror. And All, right. All right. But you have any questions of Ms. Uh, Deaton here? I don't. I mean, All I right. Mr. Uh, Stegmeyer? No, Your Honor. Thank you. All right. Now, uh, Deputy Weathers, do you think that you can uh, identify the juror that she approached? Uh, it was about four of them. Right. Four of them stated that what she said. Four of them stated? Stated what she said. Okay. Also, it's not just one. There was, was four, four I spoke to? There was a group. Let's just hang on. And you probably need to stay out of this, Ms. Deaton. All right. I'm just Okay. Uh, if you would, Ms. Deaton, would you have a seat back there for a moment? Just have a seat over there. In here? Yeah. Okay. Mr. Wells, come up here. Raise your right hand. Raise your right hand. Yes, sir. Do you swear or affirm to testify truthfully in the course of this hearing? Yes, sir. Stand at that podium right there. All right. And, uh, Deputy Weathers, you're, uh, the juror, or the uh, deputy assigned to our trial here, the Jonathan uh, Masters trial. And uh, a moment ago, while our jury was outside, uh, it's my understanding that you wished, witnessed an encounter, some kind of an encounter between uh, Lucy Deaton and our jury. Uh, what information do you have about that? What do you know about that? I, I did not witness it. The jurors called me off to the side and told me that they felt it was important for them to let me know that uh, that she came and introduced herself as the mother of the uh, defendant right here, young man. Do you Mr. recall uh, which jurors that you had this conversation with? Uh, it was four of them. All right. Hang on, ma'am, you're out now. You're out now. Uh, what I need to do is uh, I need to, for you to, as best you can, and here, here's the story. Uh, this is real difficult. Okay. Uh, first of all, do either of you, let's we'll start with Mr. Price. Do you have any uh, questions you want to ask uh, Deputy Weathers? Just one question. So the jurors initiated the contact with you that she had 
made a comment to them. Is that correct, Mr. Uh, Deputy Webb? Okay. And they, and, and they specifically said that she introduced herself. Correct. Were there any more, any additional comments that they made? That was, that was about it. She introduced herself as his mom. She said, I'm, I'm his mom. What a reason, I don't know. Did they say <coughs> that they, that, that, that was, that, that, that her comment to them was unprovoked? In other yes. words, they didn't, they, didn't, they didn't solicit any information from her. She, 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 okay. That's all I have, Your Honor. Mr. Stegmaier. Deputy, you heard Ms. Deaton say that um, after she asked a juror for if she was allowed to come back in the room that an officer stepped in between and told her she wasn't allowed to talk to the jury. Was that, was that you or another officer? That was, that was me. Okay. But when they initiated, the, I guess when she initiated the first contact is when I was holding the doors and letting the jurors out. Okay. So okay. That's, that's when she, uh, okay. She, but it, it, it was you that stepped in, not another deputy. Okay. I, I don't have anything else, Your Honor. Thank you. All right. Now, Deputy Weathers, here's what I need you to do. And it's going to be a little bit difficult. I think we need to bring them all in. Uh, okay, go ahead and bring all the jurors in. And I think what we're going to have, well, no, I don't know. That. Well, I, I don't, I'm trying to figure out a way to do this without tainting the entire jury. If I bring them all in, I say, anybody uh, have any contact with Ms. Deaton? And then those are raise their hands. Or you could say, or, or any, anybody outside the. That might be better. But even so, you know, okay. And then what we're going we're gonna to have to do is we're going to have to do the uh, interview them one at a time individually. So we're going to have to excuse everybody. We're going to have to keep track of those that say that they had some contact. Well, yeah, and, all right. This is difficult. So we need them all back in. Um, oh, damn. Uh, Miss Deaton? I'll wrap up, jury. Okay, this. Welcome back. Now, everybody have a seat. Uh, we're almost ready to get going here. We're gonna, we've got a, another, it's always something. It's always <laughs> something. <laughs> what I need to know is, uh, if any of you jurors uh, were contacted by anyone that you believe might have been related to this trial. Okay, so is it, okay. Now, now I've scrambled this all up. I don't know who's who anymore. <laughs> but we have everybody on the front row and uh, the far right juror. Uh, now the three in the back row, any of you three? Okay, we gotta, we gotta take it from the top. Uh, Ma'am, what is your name? Anita O'Connor. O'Connor. And Ma'am, what is your name? Karen Callahan. Callahan. We got all, the all Irish jury so far. <laughs> Good. You, sir? All Clay. Clay. All right, and you? Linda Hatfield. Hatfield. All right, this is going to complicate matters. I need to, uh, I think, um, Karen? Okay. Well, what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to talk to, uh, Miss O'Connor, Miss Callahan, Mr. Clay, and Miss Hatfield. So I need, and what we might be able to do, Aaron? Yes, sir. You know, I'm afraid to send them back. <laughs> going to the deliberation room. Yeah, why don't we go into the deliberation room? 
But I, I, if I could, uh, why don't we start with Ms. Hatfield, and I need the other six of you all to follow uh, Deputy Weathers here. And then a... Uh, mm -hmm. I want her to say. I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to tell you what. All right. All right. Oh, me. Where did Ms. Hatfield go? Ms. Hatfield, why don't you sit in that chair right there for a second? Oh. Um. All right. Um. So, Ms. Hatfield, uh, you, when I asked the question about whether uh, anyone had um, approached you while in the last you know, a few moments, I mean, last time that we were at recess, uh, you indicated that someone had. Is that true? This was actually before we even came in. We were sitting out there waiting to be coming in the very beginning, and this person came out of the courtroom and came up to, <clears throat> toward the end, there were like four of us, I guess, that heard her, and she just said, um, I guess you all are the jewelry. We sort of looked at her, and she said, well, I'm the defendant's mother. And then we got up and came in. It was just like a three-second thing. Okay, hang on. I got to make sure I understand this. So this is uh, we're talking about the the first time that you entered uh, this courtroom today. Yes. While you all were waiting outside uh, to be called in, yes. um, someone who later introduced herself to at least four of the jurors mm -hmm. as the defendant's mother introduced herself after she left the courtroom before you all had been brought in on the first time. Yes. All right. Now, was that the only contact that you had with her? All right. Um, okay. Um, and has there been anyone else that ever? No. All right. Mr. Price, do you have any questions? I do. Uh, Ms. Hatfield, correct? Ms. Hatfield, based on that contact, Based on that contact and what you and her introducing herself to you as the defendant's mother, uh, does that in any way influence you one way or the other in looking at the evidence in this case, ma'am? No, sir. I mean, it was so quick anyway. It was just like, you know, the sheriff came out and as she said it, we stood and walked in. So there wasn't time to even really have a conversation. And it just my only other question is, I, it, it, it was, I mean, she did this collectively to the, to, to the four that were in the range of the hearing. Yes. That you, okay. Mm -hmm. That's all I have, Terry. Thank you, Good afternoon, Ms. Hatfield. Hi. Um, how do you feel about the situation? Just in general. Fine. <laughs> you don't think anything of it? No. Okay. You, um, Still uh, going to be able to maintain innocence until proven yes. guilty. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nothing else, Your Honor. Thank you. 
All right, Ms. Hatfield, I need you to step outside and we're gonna, this is a little bit of a complicated matter and I did lose my other deputy, which would have been helpful to uh, relay this because I think we're, oh, good. Yeah.